everybody, Ciro here with another video. Uh, today I have a return arbitrage video. I've been finding some uh, good stuff here in my area. Um, so if you're new to my channel, this is a reseller channel. And I'm doing this uh, reselling deal full time now. Um, my, I quit my job a couple weeks ago, so practically today is my la uh, first day actually of being full time reseller. Um, and yeah, um, some people, well, many people uh, is wishing me good luck and others are asking me why I'm doing this, why I took this decision, why and why. So I guess they, they want to know if probably they can do the same thing. So let, uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about this. Uh, now, uh, taking this decision has been hard for me. I had a, a really good job with good benefits and all of that. So to me, the, my, the first point was... Um, in order for me to quit my job, I have to cover all my bills, all these benefits, all of that. And doing reselling as a part-time has given me that until until today. So that's why um, I am doing this full-time now. I've been tracking my, my, my earnings and I've been doing uh, a little bit more doing part-time reselling than what I make at my full-time job. And that's one of the points that uh, make me to take this decision. The second point is that I have been uh, saving some money. So now I'm going into this reselling full time with a backup in case, uh, let's say I don't make any money. I still have money saved for um, cover my bills and also to buy inventory. So uh, that's the other point. I... I set a goal because I've been preparing for this. It's not like uh, today I just decided to, to do full time. No, I've been preparing. I've been saving the money, which it's been easy because all the money that I've been, do, that I've been doing, I have been not been using for the bills because I had a full time job and I've been saving that money. So now I have a backup and now my numbers indicates that I'm going to be able to cover my bills because I've been tracking weekly what I've been making. So that's the, the second point there. and the third the third point uh if you're new uh don't think this is a like an easy thing to do this is just a regular job you're gonna have to be working even more hours than being than working for a company full time uh i'm planning probably to to work like i don't know 10 to 12 hours a day uh but the and the good thing about this it's the freedom the freedom i'll be able to to do my own schedule be with the kids and put the work that that it's needed uh and, and that's i think that's uh, the great thing that's what i was looking for and 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 yeah so uh preparation if you're new and you want to take this path uh first uh try to get your feet wet try to start reselling just doing little see if this is for you now this is not for everybody some people will try it and will quit so see if you like this if this is for you and then start increasing slowly don't try don't don't be like i quit my job and i'm gonna do that with no experience that's not the way to do it uh just slowly start uh, reselling one item two items start listing more every day and see if you like this see if it works for you i'll watch a bunch of youtube videos uh try to learn everything about reselling and and that so slow by slow you have to burn the steps don't don't jump from step one to five Step one, step two, step three, step four, until you're, you're ready. So if you want to know if you're ready, pretty much you have to know if you can cover your bills, right? You can cover your bills and you need a backup to, just in case everything goes uh, bad, you have a backup there. So, okay, guys, so um, hopefully this information uh, help you uh, a little bit about reselling and if you want to go full-time, what you need to do, but... Uh, I know I need to go more into in, to deep with this and probably I will do a, a full video just on this. But today is a retail arbitrage video and let me show you what I got. See some Adidas track shoes and they're discounted. How much are they? Six four six ninety nine. I don't think I'm going to take these. Uh, wow. Ah, they look small, but this is a Vapor 13 Mercurial. Really nice. It's elite. Twenty six ninety nine. Yeah, it's size five. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna leave this. I'm gonna take them. They're super nice. Small. A slow sell, but uh, and look at these. These also are really, really small. This is the Phantom GT Elite. 
$26.99. What size is this? It's super nice though. Let's see. Size four, even smaller. Still gonna take them, not gonna leave them behind. Some Nike, ooh, I'm seeing another pair of the Phantom GTs. This is a $300 pair, $26.99, that's a super nice, good find. And somebody else get to them before me because they left them facing the other direction, so good for me. Uh, so let's see what else we see, some Fila, some Nike track shoes. I'm gonna pass on those. Let's see some Puma. Tommy, Champions, yeah, Fila, and oh, I see some Dr. Martins here, and these are nice, strap, studded, um, yeah, I like them, $49.99, I even like the price more than some of that I grabbed before, these are a super nice pair, size 6, um, yeah, I'm going to take it, uh, probably sell it at 7.5 uh, women's, so no bad, that's how I'm gonna list it this. Uh, some Champions, Under Armour, another pair of Dr. Martens, $89.99. Yeah, that's a pass. Not paying $90 for a pair of Dr. Martens. Um, let's see, more Under Armour, Vans, Fila, RBX. Some NBA, Army Vest. Adidas, Poetic Justice, um, see what else, more Adidas, some Puma, Nike, Adidas, $200 retail price, bomber jacket, $24.99, size medium though, I'll take a chance with this, I'll be happy if I can flip it for 100 yeah, and there are two, same size, yeah, I'll, I'll take them, and some camo, Jacket. I'm gonna pass out another brand, Calvin Klein. I'm fry Nike. This is a nice uh, puffer jacket. Uh, retail price 250, size extra large. How much they want for this? 24.99. Yeah, that's a good price. I'm taking this jacket. Um, color is nice as well. Yeah, super nice. Good find. Yeah, more camel, a Levi's, new bag, some Adidas, Fila. Uh, these are kind of nice, but I'm not going to take it. Um, another Fila, different color, uh, $19.99. That's a pass. Uh, this jacket is nice. Uh, it's a small size, though, but uh, still super nice. Look at that. I saw... Uh, same jacket, black colorway, uh, last winter for 150 This one retails $175, $24.99, great price. So I'm going to take this definitely. For Champion Adidas. I don't know, if, another Fila. Another uh, Under Armour, what is that? Uh, more Under Armour here, more Fila. Yeah. Nike jacket, $45 retail price, so that's a pass. Uh, these pants are nice. Yeah, they're super nice. I like them. How much are these? Uh, $90 retail price, uh, $19.99, so I'm going to take them. Some Nike baseball cleats. Some Madden. Ooh, I see those Alpha Elite. I just saw a pair of size 12 for 110 on Poshmark. Uh, this is also a size 12, 1999. So I'm gonna take them. I like this color way better. Uh, yeah, nice. RBX shoes. Some Levi's, some Nike cleats, more RBX. See, wanted shoes, Nordica, more Levi's, a bunch of Levi's. 
and a bunch of RBX. Some champion sandals and another pair of the Elite Alpha Menace cleats. So definitely I'm taking this size 10. I just sold a pair of size 10 for $100 on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm going to grab them. $19.99. That's a, a good price. More champion sandals. Fila sneakers. More champion sandals. Fila. Let's see what else wanted. RBX. And another pair of the Elite Alpha cleats. This time in blue colorway. These are nice. These are more like navy. $19.99. Size 10. I'm grabbing this as well. Calvin Klein. More RBX. Yeah. Look at this, guys. This Burlington just discounted all the sports blazers here. Um, you see the red tag and all of them. I already went through all of the rags and picked what uh, I thought it was the best and the cheaper. Um, so let's look at these. These are chaps. Chaps are like $15. I didn't pick any chaps. I don't want to pay more than $10 for this. But let me show you what I got. So I got this Kenneth Cole for $7.99. This is a super nice uh, coat or blazer. Then I got a Van Heusen. Uh, just because it was cheap, $7.99. I also grabbed it. Then I grabbed this Kohan. This is the only one that I researched. While, I, while I'm at the store, this is going for about $80 to $100 on eBay. Now, these are big sizes, though, but a $9.99, I'm just going to take a chance. I grabbed three of these. Um, then, um, and this is size 40, no bad. Uh, this is uh, Banana Republic, uh, no bad. I like this coat or this blazer, so... No bad. The other one too. This is also Banana Republic. I pay six dollars and ninety nine cents for these. Uh, the same for that other one. Yeah, six ninety nine. So um, this is what I grabbed. All right, guys. So that was it for the pickups. Um, some sales actually. This was, I think, the worst week for sales in the year for me. And of course, it has to be like that, right? First week as a full-time reseller, worst week of sales. Yeah, I was expecting something like that. But okay, but let me show you some of the sales. Uh, from these pickups, I got two sales. Uh, the first one is this Mercurial Vapor 13. This is size five. And I thought it's size five. I don't have luck with size five. I don't pick up soccer cleats size five. Usually for soccer cleats, I try to be size 7 to size 11. Size 12, if they're a nice pair of cleats like elites, I might pick up a size 12. The same with size 13. They have to be very cheap for size 13. In this case, they were Vapor 13 size 5. So I, I, I picked them up and I thought, well, I'm going to list them a load, see if, if they will sell. Um, because I have a some size 5 that's still sitting. And this one sells in a couple hours. 137 plus shipping. Now, there were a few listed. And they were low too. But uh, yeah, that was a mistake. I probably... Uh, I think the best price for this would have been like 180. Um, I have another pair that sold this week. Uh, it's the same. I'm going to show you. It's size 12. I had those listed for $200. Now, it's a size 12. Also, a size that I don't like to pick up uh, uh, on soccer cleats. But, you know, this is super nice. I listed it at 200 and took an offer of 180 So, you see the difference. Uh, probably, yeah, that, this was a mistake. But I paid $26.99 for this. Um, it's still a win. Right? Uh, and the next one is this Alpha Menace 2 Midnight Navy uh, Elite Football Cleats. This one sold on GOAT for $90 plus shipping. 
no bad it sold like in two days um, let's see. then um, I'm gonna show you what else I have so I have these Adidas um, this one I got when whew, I had this for a while too I think I got like 10 pairs of these these are women's I pay four dollars and 99 cents this was when uh, Ross reopened after COVID uh, and this one sold for $39.99. I only have one pair left, so I sold about nine pairs. No bad. And I've been making what? I've been selling them for $30, $40. And so no bad. That one sold on Poshmark. Uh, the next one, I got this also after uh, when Ross reopened after COVID. I paid $2.99 for this Alpha Elite. Oh, these are fours, I think. Um, but I saw it's all on Poshmark for $45 plus shipping. The next one are these uh, Dr. Martin sandals started. Um, I paid $29.99 for these. They sold for $115 on Poshmark. The next pair, I got three pairs of these. This is the first pair. When I got them, uh, there were a few listed. And when I got to list them, they were uh flooded so um some are listed for 80 70 i remember 70 80 dollars so i listed it for at least a hundred dollars and I, I knew they were gonna sit but uh being patient on these uh this one sold this is the first one that sells for a hundred dollars plus shipping no fees right super nice on this one the next one um i got these they were discounted at rose for eleven dollars and 99 cents I think uh, somebody grabbed this, a reseller grabbed this, couldn't sell them, return them, and then they went down on price, so they put them on the shelf because, you know, I go every day and I didn't see these, and all of a sudden, they were there with a discounted tag, so I got them $11.99, uh, and they sold for $129 plus shipping. No bad. These are the Under Armour Speed 2. So it's, uh, and I think they're the Speed are like the number fours are i think those are the current ones yeah the next one is these uh metallic silver vapor edge this is size seven i think these are also flooded um i listed them for 80 because i wanted to move this quick um receive an offer so took it 70 dollars plus shipping on ebay i pay 19.99 for this and that was it for the sales this week i also got uh, more sales from the jar sale stuff i picked up but i will show those on a jar sale videos so um yeah so not the best week for sales but i'm still glad uh for pickups i so far well today it's a tuesday i started this on sunday it's taking me three days because now i've been listing um not getting to my goal i wanted to do 15 a day i'm only getting to 10 today because i'm i'm trying to finish this video yesterday i listed 12 so i need to organize my time better uh because i'm taking my kids to school or to soccer and i have two boys so i take the two boys different different times i also go out and source every day and and then the rest of the time i'm listing so i'm probably working from seven to six all right guys so if you like my pickups myself hit the thumbs up that helps a lot with the channel uh youtube will show you content similar to to mine and of course it will show my content to people that is looking similar content right uh if you like this type of video subscribe now that i'm full-time reseller i promise at least one video a week and um see you guys on the next one